right, so let's just go ahead and get it out of the way now before you guys start wondering why my avatar is not synced with my voice. This is what I call figuring things out, meaning that my audio did not record for all of this video, but I will try and do a voiceover to try and fix that, hopefully. So basically in this opening, I'm just explaining what we're doing. Um, my previous clan generator challenge, Dawn Clan, was just following the entire clan at one time, generally trying to tell their stories mushed together with an arc challenge. However, it became kind of hard to follow every single cat in the clan and tell all of their stories and draw all of them every single time. And I asked you guys on my Instagram if I did start a new challenge, would you guys rather me stick with Dawn Clan or try a new clan? And overwhelming majority of you chose a new clan so here we are starting a new challenge this new challenge is going to be the main character challenge i did see another creator on youtube try this challenge and i'll link them down in the description because they're actually who inspired me now they said that they saw it going around on tiktok and i tried to find some other people doing the challenge but i actually couldn't find anybody so i'm just going to link that creator that i saw originally so just to start explaining the main character challenge, basically instead of following the entire clan, we pick a kit at the beginning of the clan and follow just their life. And I'm also going to be putting an art challenge with that, so we're just going to be drawing things about that character's life. We're going to follow them from kit all the way to the adult and ideally through their death. And then, once they die, we'll pick a new kid in the clan to follow, and so on and so forth. Of course, we'll still see other things happening in the clan, but it'll be through the lens of this one character, the main character. So here in the beginning, I just kind of go through the beginning parts of getting into the game and making the clan. I explained that I used a num random number generator for a lot of this stuff, and after I click through the set amount of times, I ended up coming out with Borage Clan. But I move on, just kind of click through all the different cats and showing who all is available. I particularly look at the kits. Our two options were Might Kit and Corpse, Copes, Copes, Kit. Uh, as those are our options as our main characters. And of course, you know, after looking at the two of them, I decide to go with Might Kit, but I still have to pick our leader. And I end up going with, let's see, I'll show it here in a second, Glowstar. I end up going with Glowstar as the leader. And then for their deputy, I actually ended up picking Waterfleck. And then for the Medicine Cat, I ended up picking Cone Current. I just, I, I admit that I really just like the pattern on their pelt. They just looked very much like a Medicine Cat type with the heart on their pelt. And then I just go through and pick some of the other cats that I felt was interesting. I picked Wormpaw so that our main character would have someone to talk to once they became an apprentice. I took the other kits so they'd have someone to interact with in the beginning stages. And then I just took some of the other warriors that I thought were very interesting. I really liked Dreamline in particular. I thought they were pretty cool. So yeah, I just kind of click through the cats and take a minute to show all of them off and then pick through them. I also random number generate for the clan background. I actually thought we ended up with a pretty cool background. We ended up with the title cave and I actually did end up drawing a little background for the art based on the title cave. I thought it turned out pretty cool. And now I just click into the clan and we start playing. Um, at first, I kind of just go look at the cats, see their personalities. Of course, go into Might Kit. Uh, I took a note that they got in trouble for bringing thorns into the nest, and we'll see that art later. Um, here at the beginning, I just kind of click through everybody, get to know everyone, and I explain that... Um, you know, I'm not always going to check on every single cat in every episode, but I'm going to try my best to at least give you an idea of what's going on to the cats that are important to Might Kit. That way we can draw things that are accurate to their story and keep up with them and what's going on. But yeah, I just kind of talk about some of the things that are relevant to the cats and who's already friends and those types of things. Uh, particularly Cope's kit uh, was apparently pretending to be the clan leader 
so that was interesting. Wormpaw going out on the Dawn Patrol. And next, we finally go out on our first patrol. I deliberated about it for a little bit, just trying to figure out the correct numbers. Um, send out the medicine cat first, just to get that out of the way. Uh, let's see, they brought back some juniper. That was all that really happened there. Um, and then I did six, and then I took a couple out because I realized there was an apprentice not with their mentor. So I changed it up a little bit, trying to get the numbers even. And then uh, we tried to recruit a loner, and surprisingly, uh, they did actually join. I, I was actually pretty surprised. Normally, whenever you start out, the loners and kitty pets don't really want to join. But we actually welcomed this loner. Their name was Modeled. And then we go on our second patrol for the day, which is actually ends up being four cats. But they also come across a loner who is injured. And they, once again, offer to let the loner join. And surprisingly, this loner joins as well. Their name was Amite. Amity. I, I keep pronouncing that name wrong. It's um, A-M-I-T-Y. And it was Dream Lion that convinced them to join. I knew there was something interesting about Dream Lion all along. So there's our new cats, Amity. Just looking at their information. And that marking on their chest, I thought that was the injury that they had. But you see later, that's actually not the case. And then we have Modeled, who is the other loner that joined us. Uh, they apparently... Uh, had something terrible happen to them as a loner, so they decided to join the clan. Doesn't really say what it was, though. I'm just kind of going back and forth, checking out the new cats. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do with Mike Kit as, uh, well, as a kit. Uh, here's Brush Pool. That, that's our star clan guide. Uh, so I go ahead, and since I've done everything, we uh, time skip to the next moon. Where unfortunately Deep Speckle got a stomach ache and Mike Kit got a stomach ache, but uh, fortunately a Mighty's pelt is no longer torn. All right, and next I'm just talking about uh, how I'm just gonna go until Mike Kit becomes Mike Paw. As I'm looking at the relationships, a couple things happen. Uh, Co Cope Kit is ignoring Mike Kit, um, and I, I do end up drawing that moment a little bit later as well, actually. Let's see, was there anything else that happened with Mike Kit on this moon? Uh, Mike Kit had a difficult conversation with Dream Lion, and they ended up resentful of each other. I actually didn't end up drawing that one. I kind of forgot that one happened. But uh, take note of that. They're not getting along. Um, also, a Mike thinks that they can tell Mike Kit something important. Didn't end, up, didn't end up drawing that either, actually. But again, take note of that one. Uh, and Mike Kit is wishing Cope's Kit could play a little bit more quietly this moon as well, which was strange to me. They were concerned that Cope's Kit was ignoring them, and now that they now they want them to play more quietly, it's it's kind of back and forth with them. But I do end up drawing that as well. Like I said, the the bigger life events, the bigger things, the f things I feel like affect the main character more, I do end up drawing. Um, and then they also show Wormpaw's cross with Might Kit. So, uh, but I, I don't end up drawing that just simply because something changes that. We haven't got to that part of the video. You'll see it in a minute. Um, just kind of clicking through all the cats, seeing what everyone's doing. Uh, like I said, I won't always click through all the cats and check on all of them, especially whenever they get to be... A lot of cats but right now it's manageable so I will once again doing uh, some more patrols like I said it's kind of boring <laughs> without having the main character on patrols but we still got to do them um, they catch a scent of a fox and I decide they would do it since they're 
all good fighters and very smart. Um, and somehow the loner model actually helps to track down the fox and it goes successfully. Um, this was unexpected though. There was a sudden storm and unfortunately Cragtooth drowns in the storm. I, I hate it. I didn't expect that to happen at all, but uh, we didn't get to know Cragtooth very well, so I guess it's okay. Um, really glad it wasn't Dreamline. <laughs> already have favorites unfortunately um and then this patrol unfortunately the medicine cat couldn't convince the warriors to get anything done mm, you know is what it is all right and then next i go ahead and time skip the next moon dream lion isn't in shock deep speckled stomach ache is left but they gained a runny nose and mike kit's stomach ache is finally gone and mike kit actually turns into mite paw and uh, is apprenticed to Waterfleck, which I know is pretty cool since uh, they're the deputy. Oh, uh, and then also Modeled was just randomly found near the Rindle clan border dead. Just crazy. And then we have a little flavor text down here about how Cragtooth and Modeled both died. Uh, thankfully, a Mighty is no longer in shock, but uh, that was just kind of out of the blue <laughs> that Modeled was just randomly found dead. It was kind of strange. But thankfully our main character is now an apprentice and we can start sending them on patrols and uh, I do actually end up doing a, a sketch of that a little bit later. And again I just kind of clicked through all the little tabs just to make sure there was nothing that I missed. And then we go into the clan, take a look at Mite Paw, so pretty, I love how their design turned out, even though it ended up being a little bit complicated to draw. Oh, and I did take note that they brought some feathers back. It says for the kids to play with, but there's only one kit, so I assume that's Cope's kit. Um, I, I interpreted that as Modeled Paw trying to make Cope's kit feel better because they were ignoring them last moon. But yeah, Mike Paw is finally here. All right, and then I went ahead and sent Mike Paul on their first patrol with their mentor, and actually I went ahead and uh, sent them out with uh, the other uh, apprentice and mentor. I, I just thought it would be a better idea to do it that way. Uh, takes me a minute to get them all selected, though. So we got Worm Paw, Yellow Fuzz, Mike Paw, and Waterfleck. And they end up catching the scent of a fox, and we actually have them don't proceed. And I do end up doing an image of this as well. Um, just, and I interpreted it as since they were training, Mike Paul was actually the one to catch the scent of the fox. And they're like, hey, no, guys, we shouldn't do this. <laughs> uh, the other patrol ends up finding some herbs, and then the very last patrol also come across a fox, and. I believe they don't end up going for it. I was just too scared to risk the leader and then Dream Lion. I'm just really fond of Dream Lion. Can't explain it. So they end up not proceeding. And then I believe I save. And then I think we go on to the next moon. Yep, save. And okay, so we actually stopped there and going into the art now. Oh, right, and now we're getting into the line art. I actually did record <laughs> me sketching out all of these uh, these small pieces of the art, but if I added that in, this video would be too long. <laughs> but anyway, I'll go ahead and explain to you all the things that I'm sketching. And of course, I do jump around because I, I went ahead and I did all of the line art and then for all the images and then went back and colored it and all that but I'll go ahead and talk about each one so the very first flavor text that we ever got for Mike Kit was that she was in trouble for bringing thorns into the the nest I assume the nursery and I just interpreted that because she's a confident kid her trait is confident um, I I just interpreted that as she was uh, fooling around places she shouldn't have been maybe trying to help the warriors make some barriers or some walls or whatnot and just got some bracken bushes all tangled up in her tail and she dragged it in on accident 
uh, and got scolded by someone I'm I'm not sure uh, because unfortunately whenever you start out with a kit in this game it, it doesn't give you parents it doesn't tell you who their parents are so we don't really know whoever was in charge of watching the nursery that day I suppose um, and then the next image I was sketching was uh, her stomach ache that, that she got as a kid just before she became an apprentice and that was cone current taking care of her I, I can only imagine it was just her trying to soothe her by patting her on the back uh, and then next we have her apprentice ceremony she's very proud touching noses with the deputy waterfleck um, who who I didn't notice until I was sketching this. She's actually kind of an old cat <laughs> by the time she apprentices um, Might Paw. She's already over a hundred moons old, which is kind of old in this game. Um, but yeah, she's very happy to finally be apprenticed. And then next, I kind of combined two of the uh, flavor texts together. Here we have uh, Might Paw bringing back cope's kit some feathers uh, and simultaneously we have cope's kit ignoring her i can only imagine it's just because she's an apprentice now she's not spending as much time with her she's she's probably like oh, i don't need you go go hang out with the other apprentices of the warriors uh, take your feathers with you <laughs> cope's kit is just not happy that she's left her alone in the nursery by herself just being a little uh, sassy she kid she is uh, and then next up down in the bottom left we have uh, another two that I combined I don't know if I mentioned it in the recording or not but there was some flavor text right after uh, the patrol that they went on Waterfleck had some text that said that they were admiring uh, Might Kit or Might Paw I'm sorry and like I said, I kind of had canon that Mike Paul was the one who smelled the fox first and was like, hey guys, we should probably shouldn't go that way. Bad idea. Um, so in this sketch, I just kind of played it as Mike Paul telling Waterfleck about the fox, giving her opinion, and then Waterfleck being like, oh, that's my apprentice. She knows what she's doing and it, admiring her in that way. Uh, I thought that was a pretty a good way to combine those things. I, I would think that that would be what would what Waterfleck would be admiring her for, considering she just became an apprentice. It would be kind of impressive that she knew how to uh, distinguish and track a fox. So that's what I'm imagining that she's proud of Might Paw for. And then down in the bottom right. Uh, again, I don't know if I mentioned the flavor text or not, but she also got some flavor text uh, with Worm Paw, where it said that they were enjoying themselves, uh, sharing clan news, or uh, discussing pl clan politics. And I can, and this is why I was confused before, whenever it said that Worm Paw, uh, I think it said Worm Paw was like annoyed at might paw wasn't sure why when they had a friendly uh conversation the very next moon but i, I can only imagine this is why cope's paw or uh, sorry cope's kit was annoyed she was probably like "Ugh, you're hanging out with worm paw now he he's not cool why are you hanging out with him you should be hanging out with me and that's that's why she's being all little kit angsty uh cope's kit did actually also get the flavor text after uh, after Might Paw brought the feathers to her that she didn't want to grow up. So I, I can only imagine that she saw uh, Might Paw get her name and start going out and doing things and having all these responsibilities and she was just not excited about it. Not ready, not happy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this first episode of Might Kit in Borage Clan. 
Clan Jin main character challenge. Let me guys know what you think of our main character that we've picked so far. Should I have gone with Cope's kid? You think she would have been more interesting? Or did I pick the right cat in my paw? What do you like about her? What do you dislike? And what are you interested in to see? Let me know down in the comments. I can't wait for the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.